If you've just finished a screencast with Screencastify, you can bring it into the video editor by using the open in editor button in the top right hand corner. Clicking that will load Screencastify's video editor and bring in the clip that you just recorded. If you didn't record in Screencastify, you can still start with a blank project by going to edit.screencastify.com. Once you're here, you can click the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner to add video clips. You can bring them in from your Google Drive or from your computer. I'm going to upload some from my device here. Once you have the clips you need, you can reorder them on the timeline by selecting one of the clips and clicking and dragging it to move it to a different position. In order to trim the beginning or end of a clip, it is sometimes best to start by zooming in a little to your timeline to get a better view of your clips. You can do that with the slider in the bottom right hand corner here. Moving it to the right with the plus sign will expand the view of your video thumbnails. Then to trim, all you do is click on the video that you would like to trim and drag the handle from the beginning to trim video off the beginning or from the end to trim video off of the end. If you want to take out something from the middle of a video clip, let's say you had a coughing fit halfway through your screencast and you want to remove that, all you have to do is move the playhead to the position where the coughing fit started, let's say it was here, and then hit the scissors button to make a cut. Then move the playhead to where your coughing fit ended, click, and then go over to the scissors and make another cut. And what that will do is it will cut your video into three parts. The first part, the second part where you are coughing, and then the remainder of the video in the third part. You can remove the second part where you are coughing by clicking on it and then clicking the trash can. In order to add text on top of a video, you select the clip you would like text to appear on, and then come over here and click on the T for text. At this point, you can write some text on your screen. You can select your text and make it bold, italic, or underlined. You can also change the font, change the background color of the font, and change the font color itself. The fonts can be small, normal, large, or huge. And you can choose whether they are left justified, centered, or right justified. The last button on the screen here chooses the position where your text will appear. So your text can either appear at the top, at the bottom, or in the middle, depending on which one you choose. I'm gonna choose the bottom. You can see where the text is added by the coral colored rectangle above your video clip. This determines how long your text appears on the screen. If you would like your text to appear for longer, simply drag the handle to increase how long the text appears for. If you would like it to appear for a short amount of time, you can drag it the other way. If you would like to reposition where the text starts, all you do is click and drag on the text box and you can move it to another position. Once you have everything edited the way you want, you will note that when you export your video from Screencastify, you can only do five minutes or less for free. So 
if you have a video that is longer than five minutes and you do not want to pay for this video editor, you can edit it down so that it is five minutes or less. Once you have that to the correct length, you can come up here to the top right hand corner where you see an export button. And from here, you can save it to your computer as an MP4 file or export it to Google Drive. I'm going to choose an MP4 file. At this point, you get to choose a name for your video and then click the download button. Your video will process and once it is done, you can go and check it out on your device.